Hey insiders, today we're going to be going over the EH Pro Cold Steel. Does it look familiar? Is it a Yeehee SL class lookalike? Make sure you watch the whole review. Find out all my thoughts on this one. Before we get into the video, make sure you check out our new merch site. You can get my tagline on a shirt or a hoodie. This is a collaboration between EH Pro and Ambitions Vapor. He's a popular YouTube reviewer. Let's open this thing up. Let me show you how this thing comes packaged. Check that out, man. That's kind of cool, right? You get a belt case, right? For your mod. Only one problem, man. Things useless once you put an atomizer on it. Yeah, it looks great. Looks beautiful. They should have cut a hole in here. Made like, you know, made the stitching just around here. Kept this part open. Because once you put an atomizer on it, it's useless. So it's a nice idea, but we got to pluck it and file it because nobody thought to put a hole in the part that I just showed you. Nice looking mod. Let's take a quick look around it. All right. It definitely looks familiar. We've all seen this form factor before. I'm talking about the SL class. I like the cold steel branding over there. I like these little divots they did over here. I like the little divots on top. I just think overall it's a good looking mod. But then again, I always like the looks of the SL class. Now up here, we got manufactured by EH Pro, gold-plated 510, stainless steel threading around that. I would say the 510 has a medium spring with a medium stiffness to it. Nice job on that. This I absolutely hate. I mean, Jesus Christ, man, you're a reviewer for crying out loud. You don't know better than to put stupid branding on the front of the mod like that. Check out the buttons, man. The buttons are kind of cool. The button is like that, kind of like they borrowed it from the Aegis Legend. I like it. It's kind of neat, man. I definitely dig it. I do like the up and down buttons, the rocker style buttons. I think that's a nice job. You got an LED battery indicator over there, micro USB port over there. Tiny, tiny screen, but it is bright and well laid out. Only because people are going to bring it up, I'm going to show it to you. There's no denying the similarities between this and the Yeehe SL class. This is much slimmer in the hand. It's a little taller, but definitely slimmer and feels more comfortable. This one is made out of more premium materials, but I mean, you can see, man, the inspiration was definitely there. That doesn't bother me that much because, listen, a box mod's a box mod. You know, nobody has a patent on the square shape. No one has a patent on the circle shape. So it is what it is. But, you know, some people are going to get mad that they copied this from the Yeehe SL class. To me, it's really no big deal. I will say this. The finish on this is very nice. The finish almost reminds me of the champagne color on the double barrel V3. That's what it kind of reminds me of, all right? So, now in order to load your batteries, you got some venting on the bottom right there. You give this a little twist. And the threading is nice and smooth. I got to give them credit for that. You can see you got a negative sign over there, okay? Looks like brass on the battery cap. It does feel nice and smooth when you thread it on. No issues with the threading at all. Down the bottom there, you can probably see it. There's a red plus sign showing that you put your battery in positive side up. This mod will take 21700s, 2700s, and 18650s with the included adapter. There's my Galisi battery in there. Pop it on, give it a nice little reverse thread so it catches, and now it's all loaded up. One, two, three, four, five. You get five clicks, cold steel splash screen. Now you can see there's my preheat, it's normal, my resistance, my wattage, my battery meter, my voltage. Nice bright screen, real, real bright. It's tiny, but I don't mind it on a mod like this. Menu system is as follows. One, two, three. You can see I'm in power mode. Now I can scroll between power, temp, curve mode, bypass, and voltage mode. Let's put it into temp mode. You can see I can scroll between nickel, stainless steel, titanium, TCR, and back. Let's put it in stainless steel. Now you can see I can pick my wattage right here. I can go up or down with it. All right. Let's say we put it at 60 watts. And now there's my degrees. It scrolls in five degree increments all the way up to 600 degrees. I have to say this, the TC on this is actually legit. TC works well on it. I can't complain about it. I did try it out. 
go back into wattage mode. Right there, it asks me what my preheat is. Normal, soft, strong, or back. I normally keep it in normal. It does scroll in half watt increments, okay, all the way up to 120 watts. It does round robin, okay? So I do like that it scrolls in half watt increments. That's a definite pro for sure. I like that a lot. In order to flip the screen, hit the minus and fire button together and the screen flips. Want to flip it back, hit it again. Hit the plus and fire button together and it goes into stealth mode, okay? Hit it again and it comes out of stealth mode. In order to lock the mod, you hit both buttons together plus and minus, now the mod's locked. Not only can you not adjust it, you cannot fire it. In order to unlock it, hit the plus and minus button again, and now it's unlocked. I gotta say, man, I can't complain. I mean, form factor, the way this thing feels in the hand, it feels fantastic in the hand. EH Pro did a bang up job on this one. They really did, really, really nice job, nice finish. Also included in the box, is a micro USB cable for charging and updates. This is an updatable mod, and you get a 18650 battery adapter for those of you that still like to run 18650s. All right, insiders, let's move on to those cons and pros for the Cold Steel 100. First con's gonna be, man, that branding. Really, bro? I mean, come on, man, you're a freaking reviewer. It actually, it's not that bad on the one I have, the stainless steel, but on the black one, it's absolutely hideous. Nobody wants your name on the front of the mod. Trust me, no one. The carry bag is another con. It's a nice touch, but it's useless because you can't use it with an atomizer on it, unless you wanna tuck that whole top piece to the side and then it looks stupid on your waist. I don't understand why you couldn't put a cutout on it so you could slide an atomizer through it. Like I said, nice touch, you just didn't think it all the way through. It's a con. But that's it on the cons, man. I mean, there's not a lot to complain about on this one. This happens to be an excellent mod with a lot of pros. Let's move on to the pros. First pro's gonna be, yeah, it's borrowed, but it's a great form factor. You can fit 27 millimeter atomizers on it without any overhang. It's got a beautiful finish. It reminds me of the Squid Industries double barrel, that type of finish on their champagne one. That's what it reminds me of. It's a pro. Easy menu system, pro. Solid build quality, no battery rattle at all. This is a legit TC device. It actually does good TC. It fires fast. It's got a nice bright screen that's well laid out and you can see it in all lighting conditions. Threading on that battery cap is smooth. It scrolls in 0.5 watt increments. It might look like the SL class, but it's actually a little smaller. And I like the feel of this one in the hand better, believe it or not. So that's a pro. It will take three different types of cells, a 21700, a 2700, or an 18650 with the included adapter, that's a pro. It charges internally at 1.8 amps. It's firmware upgradable. It's got all the bells and whistles. It's got all the TCs. It's got TCR. It's got preheat. It's got curve mode, bypass mode. It's got everything you want or expect to see on a new mod. And that's it, insiders. Those are my pros and cons. Let's get into this one. Let's talk about this one a little bit because there was a little drama. And you guys know I don't like drama, but I know it's going to be addressed in the comments. So I got to address it here. Everyone's running around saying, Ambitions didn't do anything with this. All he did was pick the color and slap his name on it. You know what? Who cares? That's none of my business. My business is when I get sent a mod, I got to tell you whether it's good or not. And let me tell you something. This is a great mod. I could give a shit who designed it. It doesn't matter to me. If somebody wants to put their name on something, that's none of my spiritual business. I mean, I got to be honest with you. You guys know the SL class is probably one of my all-time favorite single-cell mods. And if I had a choice today between this and the SL class, with the SL class at the price point that it's at now, I would take this because I could buy two of these. I could buy a black and a stainless steel one for the price of one SL class. So that's a pro. Yeah, 
It's the ghetto version of the SL class. It doesn't have the same materials on it, doesn't have as good as a chipset, but who cares, man? It gets the job done and looks very similar while doing it. So that's my take on the whole scenario. You're all adults out there. You make up your own mind. Don't let anybody pressure you one way or another. The bottom line is, this is a really great mod. One of the best mods of the year so far, as far as I'm concerned. Let's get into some of the specs for the EH Pro Cold Steel 100. It measures in at 27.5 by 39 by 91.5 millimeters. It's primarily made out of zinc alloy and stainless steel. It has a 120 watt maximum output. It fires down to 0.05 ohms. Modes include power mode, temp, curve, voltage mode, and bypass mode. It's available in black, stainless steel, and gold. Big shout out to EH Pro for sending this one my way for review. Thanks for watching the video, Insiders. Definitely appreciate it. Remember, we're not a monetized channel, so we'd appreciate it if you check out our new merch store. You can get my tagline on a shirt like you see me wearing, or you can get it on a hoodie as well. We have some other great designs that you can put on a t-shirt or a hoodie. Here's another one of them. Vape King shirt. And here's one of my personal favorites, Vape So Hard, the FDA Wanna Find Me. Go over to our new store and check it out. And that's it, Insiders. That's all I got for you today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.